Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, and the Cincinnati Bengals as they take on last year's number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield, and the upstart, Cleveland Browns. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Just off the shores of Lake Erie, we are at First Energy Stadium in a city aptly named after its founder, Moses Cleveland, way back in 1796. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys, and we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Let's meet the offense. Greg Robinson. Very, very talented. What a man to set your offensive line with. Greg Robinson. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. And he got off to a great start last year as a rookie against Cincinnati. Seven touchdown passes, no interceptions, and two wins. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Defensive starters, here they are for Cincinnati. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL. On second down now, it's Hunt. Two runs in a row. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 37 yards. First and 10 for Dalton. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he's going to get this inside the 30. On first down, Bernard. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. And in the backfield out of this starting group, you have to look out for Giovanni Bernard. And you have to make sure you're ready to hit the spin button with this guy. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. The first carry for Wendell Smallwood. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Giovanni Bernard. Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. That's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Scheme, power scheme, whatever. They've got a runner who finds yardage if you give him just a little bit of space. Would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The drive starts with a handoff to Bernard. And he's going to get this from the six out to the 12. On second down and four, Dalton. And this will be incomplete. 
Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they've been very good this year against the pass, currently holding on to a top 10 ranking at number 10. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're... Dalton here from the gun. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he's able to get it down to the 25. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And you know, they had great field position to start. But boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. The second down play, not much better. Up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover and not be deterred by anything else. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So on fourth down, out comes the Browns kicker, Austin Seibert. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner. Dalton, first and 10. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Fakes the give to Bernard. Dalton. And he's going to go down again. Instead, they go empty backfield as they look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up. On third down, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Dalton gives to Bernard. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. Now Bernard. And that'll move him a little closer. Dalton on third and goal. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. And you know a blunt veteran inside their locker room has stood up at one point or another and said, you know that, you know, all this means nothing so far. We've got to cover this, get it done. What do we want to be? It's like winning a title in August. He creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now we throw here. Going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. Remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Here's Mayfield. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. They'll begin here with Bernard. Now after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. Andy Dalton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Miles Garrett in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Third and long, what will Dalton dial up? And the pressure gets to him again. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. Seen the Seahawks quite a bit in prime time the last few weeks, and we get them again tonight as they head down to L.A. to take on the Rams. And then tomorrow night for Monday Night Football, it's Giants-Eagles. To start the drive, 12 yards. Mayfield now. And that going to be incomplete. Mayfield throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion. A run with Smallwood. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. 
from midfield here. Dalton. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Grady Williams, the rookie. Just laid back an extra yard or two, but then really put your foot in the turf and drive on the football. And here I think he baited the quarterback into the throw and made it pay off. First down completion went just shy of the marker. To throw, Mayfield. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got an open man. He completes it to Cataway. Mayfield with it once more. And he's got this one complete to Cataway. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Look at the big man rumble. Pass the 20, 10, 5, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. Bullock's kick is good. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll begin in upstate New York, an AFC matchup between Baltimore and Buffalo at New Era Field. And it's the Ravens out in front as that game moves towards halftime. Two touchdown passes there for Lamar Jackson. From there, we head down south to Tampa to check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium. And you can see there is the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. Chester Rogers, well over a 100 yards receiving with three touchdown catches. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. In the game you're watching, it's been the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, who's led the way. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This will be taken about the 12. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 and make it the 40-yard line. They start to drive the small wheel. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45. Dalton up play action. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And unable to connect, incomplete. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. They run again with Hunt. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he's stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. Third and long for Mayfield. And that is incomplete. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Second and 21. Dalton. He finds Ross, right side, it's complete. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in. Cincinnati score. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On second and seven. Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
Picked up by Jesse Bates. 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And his throw here is incomplete. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Mayfield to throw it. Able to find Harris complete. There he goes left side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. On just three plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. This will be fielded at the eight. They'll run with Smallwood. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Wendell Smallwood. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Bengals grab it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Browns drive about to get started. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. That's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. On second down, it's Hunt. And some room to work. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Here's Smallwood as they begin on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shot. From the 38, Dalton. And that is incomplete. On third and short, Smallwood. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett. Now Dalton. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. From the gun, they run with Smallwood. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. First and 10 for Dalton. Green brings it in. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Again, the small wood out of the gun. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Here's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Here's Smallwood. He's got it on the draw. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. And Bullock will put this one through. The line ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now he's going to get this down to the 30. That you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, the last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Now Mayfield, and he's got his man. That's Landry. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Going to the air again with Mayfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, 
focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. First down, a run with Smallwood. And he's taken down inside the 30. They run again on first down with Smallwood. And only able to muster a couple down. From the 27th, Dalton. Throw left side, complete to Ross. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. 53, check 53. They'll run for it with Smallwood. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Toss play. This is Smallwood. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Here's Mayfield. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Mayfield. He's got Njoku over the middle. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. Working out of the gun. Mayfield. And almost picked off. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee. Time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Cincinnati, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-5, and five, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they suffer their fourth loss so far, and they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale 